Hello everyone, this is CY once again. Thanks for joining me today. As you can see, what lies in front of you are three very similar looking machines. Um, they are from different brands. On your far left, which is the one here, this is from the DeLonghi. The model is Specialista Prestigio. In the middle, this is the machine from SMEG, uh, famous for their very retro looking refrigerators. And this machine is the EGF03. I'm not too sure why they did give a model name for this and use a serial number. On the far right, which is the machine over here, this is a Solis from Switzerland, right? Uh, and this particular model is the Grind Infused Perfecta. It, because I'm going to go in that review of all the three machines, so the video is going to be quite long. So I'm going to break this video into two parts. The first part being talking about the physical appearance, the features and the functions and everything else. Uh, and all the making of coffee in on the three individual machines will be made in the second part of the video. So let's get started. Let's get started with the DeLonghi Specialista Prestigio. As you can see, this is the uh, most bulky machines in, uh, as compared to the other two other machines. And the full body is made of stainless steel, including the cup warming tray. Of course, the only part that's plastic will probably be the hopper because it has transparent plastic, which allow you to see through. This hopper is slightly grey in colour. I think they are trying to, uh, in a way, block certain amount of sunlight. Uh, but if you are indoor, this doesn't matter as long as you are able to see the quality of the beans that's inside there. And on the front panel here, you can see that there's a pressure gauge which allows you to see the pressure. On the pressure marking, there's no number. So you probably can't tell what is the exact pressure that you'll be extracting. But they do tell you that there's an optimal zone. So usually I'll aim for probably from um, 10 to 11, uh, 10 30 to maybe about 1 30 uh, in terms of the uh, the pressure range. So this is actually the optimal zone. Anything that goes into the red zone, I'll consider as over extraction or over pressure. So um, the machine is powered off. And there's a switch at the back. There's a physical main switch at the back, and then there's another button here for you to start the machine. Um, on the far left, this is the dose level. On by far, this is the most confusing uh, labeling of the features on the DeLonghi. Because initially I thought that the dose level means I can use this to control the grinding time, which ends up in resulting how much coffee I'm going to grind. But as a further clarification with DeLonghi, uh, they told me that this is actually um, designed with reference to the rose level of the bean. So, um, I would assume that from the minimum means is the, the light roast coffee and on to the other side is the dark roasted coffee. But I'm going to test by varying this whether I'm actually getting a slightly different uh, grinding output in terms of grams. I'm sure it will be slightly different because by the theory of um, roasting and uh, coffee extractions, the darker the roast, usually we tend to grind a little bit coarser. And the finer, I mean, the lighter the rolls, we tend to grind a little bit finer to have a better extractions. And on the second button here, this is actually the single or double grinding uh, button. You can press once to activate the double grinding time, which means uh, I, I suppose this is actually in relation to the basket they give you. It's a single and double basket. So this allows you to choose the basket by pressing this so that you can actually grind according to the basket size. On the third button, you can see that this is a temperature adjustment um, down, uh, a button here, which allows you to adjust temperature to three different levels, low, medium, high. So I believe they are all two degrees Celsius different, probably starting with 90, 92, and 94. Uh, this one I have to confirm by reading the manual. So if I'm wrong, please uh, just let me know in the comment section down below. This is the start and stop button for the palm so that you can start ex extracting espresso. This button here has a T logo on it, right? 
um, I suppose you need hot water for making your tea. So therefore, this is actually for you to engage the hot water wand here. And the something interesting is that most of the machine actually get hot water from the steam wand, but this machine has the dedicated you know, output for the hot water. And this button next to the tea bag is actually the my button. So this is where you can program all your uh, your own recipe. And the the button, this should be a dial, right? This is a tree selection dial whereby it allows you to do uh, select espresso, americano, or coffee. I have not tried the coffee, but espresso means as as indicated by the word, you will do an espresso, right? Um, um probably uh. I think the preset time um, is, uh, sorry, the preset output should be around 40 to 40 gram, 45 grams of espresso based on the double um, double cup or double shot uh, grind. Uh, Americano, uh, which means that they when you activate the OK button here to start the brew group, they will start extracting espresso. After that, they will start to add hot water over your cup. So that's how they make Americano. And coffee, I, I will be testing these features out. I'm not too sure what this do, does, so I'll find out that one later. And what makes DeLonghi special from the rest of the two is, it has an integrated tamping system, which means that once you engage the grind, so to engage the grind, you just have to lock out your portal filter and swing to the six o'clock, and you will feel that the grind has been engaged. And then once the grinding stops, there will be a button here flashing to tell you that you need to tamp. So to tamp, very simple, just pull the lever, and then push down and then push it back and that's it so the grinding and the tamping has been solved really easily by the DeLonghi so this make make it a little bit less messy um, but also it, uh, it, it also uh, didn't give you um, the, um, the uh, possibility of weighing the beans and tamp by yourself so everything is actually done uh, with the integrated system here so this is pretty much uh, okay, before I move on to the next machine, you can see they also have a tray here, which means that if your cup is a smaller cup like this, if you if you want a smaller cup, you can actually use this stand here to raise the position of your cup nearer to the portal filter. And one more thing, the DeLonghi portal filter is a 51mm portal filter. It's, it's a little bit odd size. Uh, as you can see, the basket is a lot deeper as compared to the other two. And it has a three-prong design. So um, I have no complaint so far about this size kind of a portal filter and the filter basket. Last thing that I want to talk about is the steam, right? This machine uses a single thermal block, which means to say that in order for you to, you can only make coffee or steam milk at one time. You can't do both together. Um, this is a single whole steam tea. Um, steam, steaming of milk will take a little bit of time, but uh, it is quite easy to actually texture the milk because um, the, the palm, uh, the steam pressure is actually not fantastic as compared to the you know, other semi-automatic machines like BBM, Lilith and things like that. Um, they are, those are like semi-professional use machines. This is slightly weaker steam, but it also allows a beginner to actually slowly texture the milk uh, so that it, it, it will make um, the texture of milk uh, give you more time to do it so that uh, it's easier to, for you to manage if you are just beginning to make you know, a, a latte and trying to do a latte art. Okay, of course, the steam um, is engaged by turning this dial over here. So just steam on and steam off. So it's a pretty easy machine to uh, use. Um, just that I find that there are a lot of buttons here. So that's why it takes a, a, a while for me to go through all the functions on this machine. Uh, as I mentioned, this is a single thermal block, which means it will take time for the machine to heat up to the steaming temperature. And then again, if you want to make the next cup of coffee, uh, my suggestion is you purge the steam. Um, um, and then um, it will take a little bit of time for the machine to cool down. Then you can pull the next espresso. The integrated grinder on the DeLonghi Specialita Prestigio has got eight grind settings. Uh, currently, I've tested the machine and um, it grinds really effectively and give me a pressure at the optimum zone at a grind setting of 2 to 3. Uh, there's no half setting, uh, just that, you know, as I turn the dial over here, uh, yep, currently my, my adjustment is actually in between 2 and 3. So that's the, that's, um, 
there's only eight setting, but it is not limiting the, the grind. And one more thing before I forget is to help is to measure the dimension of the machines. So I'm going to physically measure. I know there are dimensions out there. In terms of the width of machine, it measures about 31 cm. In terms of the depth, it measures about 33 to 34 cm. In terms of height, including the hopper, it measures about 45 cm. So that is the dimension of the DeLonghi machine. Uh, among the three machines, this is by far the widest, the deepest, and uh, probably the tallest. Now let's move on to the second machine, which is the machine from SMEG or SMAC, the EGF-03. Uh, the machine that was sent to me by SMAC Singapore, uh, this is the off-white version. Uh, I've done, uh, I've not done a review on this. I've done one review on this machine, which I run through um, some of the features, but to make this video complete, I'll just run through the entire features again. So first of all, you can see that this is a hard, glossy kind of finishing plastic. Uh, very, very hardy. Uh, it looks really solid. Um, again, there's a built-in grinder, uh, conical as well. Um, there are actually 15 grind setting on this integrated grinding system. Uh, the grind is really fluffy on this machine. So in terms of um, the material, it looks really premium, even though it may, it's made of plastic. Just a tradition with all the smack machine. I think they win by really a very retro looking design. And on the front panel, you can see that the design is really very simple as compared to uh, DeLonghi. There are a lot more buttons on the DeLonghi machine as compared to the Smack machine. Similarly, the center dial is a pressure gauge to allow you to see the pressure that uh, when you pull an espresso shot. Uh, it, does, it does not indicate the, uh, the number as in what pressure we are pulling. Similarly, as compared to the DeLonghi, there's no number indicating uh, whether we are extracting a 6 bar of pressure or 9 bar or 12 bar or whatsoever. Um, but um, it also didn't indicate whether you are actually hitting the optimal zone. So I have to presume that the optimal zone is similar uh, in terms of the, the, the needle that is pointing. Should be similar in terms as compared to the DeLonghi. So it should be around starting from the 10 o'clock position all the way to the 2 o'clock position. So there are four different uh, buttons here. Right, and the machine has no physical button to turn on, but there is actually a button at the side, on the left hand side, for you to switch on the machine. Uh, in the front, the first two button is for you to engage the grinding. So this is again similarly to the DeLonghi. This is the single, uh, single cup grinding, and this is a double espresso grinding. So this is double shot espresso grinding, and this is a single shot. Uh, I have not really measured. I'll probably measure it the next time. Uh, to test out the single and the double shot actually grind for how much uh, how much grammage of coffee. But I believe these buttons, uh, you are able to program the time that you want the grinding to be engaged. And on the right hand side, there are two buttons here, which once you press, the brew group will start. And uh, this is for single espresso and this is for double espresso. Again, I believe the extraction time can be programmed by pressing and hold the button. And once you release, you should memorize a new setting that you ask the machine to memorize, right? The top has a stainless steel warming cup tray. The, it also has a stainless steel cover piece for the, uh, the drip tray. The machine uh, and the feet of the machine is also made of, uh, I believe this is also, I'm not too sure the material because it's quite a heavy machine actually, uh, similar as compared to the DeLonghi. Uh, and when you try to push it, the machine is pretty well uh, gripped. There's actually some, some sort of a friction grip pad at the bottom, which means that to say that uh, when you lock in the polar filter, it probably won't move, right? You can see it, it tried to move, but it doesn't. So this is, I, I find that this is a very important feature, uh, whereby it allows me to uh, not holding on to the machine where as I lock up the polar filter. Uh, and this machine is the only machine in this category that comes with a dual thermal block. What it means is, you're able to brew espresso and steam milk at the same time. So this is something unique as compared to the other two. All three machines use thermal block, but this machine from Smack comes with dual thermal block, which means to say one thermal block is in charge of brewing espresso, one thermal block is in charge of steaming. And if you move to the steam uh, one activation here, uh, if to turn 
if you push this lever to the back, it engages the water dispensing. And this is the zero neutral position, which is a 12 o'clock position. And they are actually stage one and stage two of steaming power, which allows you to vary the power of steam uh, to uh, what you are getting used to or uh, to the steaming power that you like when you steam your milk. And uh, this is also the only machine that uses a 50mm port filter. So this is actually commercial size 50mm. Even though the port filter has three prong design, but the basket is 50mm, which means to say that you can use a standard 50mm accessories, such as the filter basket, such as the 50mm tamper, and, and things like that. So it's a lot easier for you to find the accessories that fits on this as compared to the other two machines. Same thing, it has an integrated uh, grinder. So the grind is also pretty fluffy, which you will be seeing in the next video. Uh, and the size of the uh, machine, uh, by far, I would say that this is, um, in terms of width, I think they will be around the same. So in terms of width, it's about 30 cm in terms of width. But in terms of depth, this one is the most shallow. It only measures about 30 to 31 cm in terms of depth. And in terms of height, it measures about 44 cm, including the hopper. So I think this is the, even though it's slightly taller, but in terms of the depth, it occupy lesser of your counter depth. Uh, so if you have a shallow counter, you can actually consider the smack machine. Right, the third machine under review is the machine from Solis, the Grind Infused Perfecta. So as you can see, um, there are more plastic parts on this machine as compared to the other two. Uh, the side panels are all stainless steel cladding. So you can see all these are stainless steel. The back is also stainless steel. The drip tray is stainless steel, including the, uh, the drip tray is also cladded with stainless steel. But if you look at the inside, they are made of um, probably ABS plastic. I'm not too sure the plastic uh, material here, but they are quite durable and um, I would say they look very similar to another brand. Uh, you know which brand I'm talking to. So, um, but comp I've, I've seen the, the, the B brand before. So uh, the machine is slightly more compact as compared to that. So let me run through the features of this machine. Again, integrated grinding. Uh, integ integrated grinder with conical burr sets. There are actually 25 grind setting on this machine. So by far, this machine has got the most grind setting. But does that mean that you are able to grind better? Um, we will find that out in the next video. Um, the hopper is also gray out. Um, the smack machine's hopper is a little bit clearer, uh, closer to neutral color. That means clear color. This one is similar to the DeLonghi. It is also gray out. Uh, the silicone pad on the machine is pretty well, pretty well uh, is pretty good. Uh, I would say the seal on the hopper is, is quite good. The smack machine seal is also the, also pretty good. It doesn't actually slip out that easily. Uh, the longy also, has, I, think, I, I think there is some sort of a, a rubber material here which prevents air from escaping. So I would say comparing all the three hoppers, all three hoppers are pretty well built. So now let's move on to the front panel of the machine. Again, there's a central dial gauge. And Solis is the only brand that indicated the amount of bar of pressure they will be extracting as compared to the other two. They do tell you that the um, preferred bar pressure when you express espresso is from here, which is um, six bar all the way to probably, um, I think 12 bar is really over pressure. And, um, the button here is lesser as compared to the DeLonghi. It has a program button. And same thing, you can actually choose the grinding to be single or double. The grind can be, can be activated by pushing the, uh, uh, pushing your polar filter inside. There's actually a button here, which allows you to engage the grinding. Um, and on the right hand side, you can see that there's a single, single espresso or double espresso. And for you to use the steam, you have to press the steam button here so that a single thermal block can actually bring the, uh, the thermal block to the steaming temperature. The steam dial can be engaged here, right? So I believe if you don't press the steam button, what you'll be getting is the hot water. And 
What makes this machine stand out as compared to the other two? It comes with an LED features, which allows you to see your grinding time and it also double up as, uh, you know, when you pull espresso shot, it also uh, acts as a short timer. So this is a pretty good features. Um, the Solis portal filter comes with 54mm portal filter size, which is comparable to the Beam or uh, B brand, right? Um, I would say, um, yeah, I think it's easier to find the accessories of the 54mm uh, portal filter as compared to 51, because now uh, it, a lot of other machines all use 54mm portal filter. So the steam wand, which is also, you know, you're able to rotate the steam wand, which is pretty good. Similar on the, uh, you know, the smack machine. I think that's a little bit more restrictive, right? On the DeLonghi, it is also able to turn, you know, swing in all direction, right? I think the most restrictive is the smack machine. This is pretty easy to turn, right? Um, lastly, let's measure the dimension in terms of width i think the solis is the is the slimmest in terms of the width design it measures only about 27 to 28 cm in terms of width in terms of that it measures about uh, 35 cm in terms of height uh, from base to hopper it measures about 41 to about 42 cm So sorry for the uh, long video because I have to go through all the features on all the three machines and to be fair with all the three different brands. Um, we are friends with all these three brands, so um, we will really I'll, I'll give you my honest opinion on all the three machines after I make coffee with all these machines in front of everyone. So thank you for your patience uh, for watching all these three videos. Um, I will try to give you a summary sheet at the back of the video. Uh, to categorize what these three machines has in terms of features. So thank you for watching. Please stay tuned uh, and wait for a second episode of how I dial in the espresso and make some milk-based coffee with these three machines. So this is see you once again. Thanks for joining me. Uh, if you like our content, do consider subscribing to our channels and like our videos. Uh, this helps us a lot. And uh, thank you for your support. I'll see you in the next video and stay safe.